Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel, to our Christmas edition. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you all. Um, I have taken a challenge. I normally don't really like shooting arrows with slingshot, but um, I have been challenged and so I made a slingshot that's specifically designed for arrows. Um, I have done some changes to the regular design that is floating around. First of all, this is a homemade whisker biscuit. So you can see what it actually is, is it's made from toilet brushes. Wireframe toilet brushes, or I think they also sell them as bottle cleaners. It's been bent around so it forms a ring and then it's attached to this. So what you can do is, it's, going to, it's guiding the arrow like this and yet it, it's very easy for the arrow to pass through. So this way you can nicely center it. Um, the whisker biscuits are available as professional bow accessories, but then they are very expensive. So this is probably two dollars and a true whisker biscuit, biscuit is probably ten times as much. I've also done some more changes. As you see, this here is a little bit directed towards the shooter towards me. And the reason why I've done this is because normally the length of the arrow limits the amount of stretch. So normally you can only stretch up until this point. And then so even though this is a 32 inch arrow, that's the limit. But with my design you can go back to here. So you can use the full stretch of a slingshot. You can go into the half butterfly even. So I'm just using a longer stretch adding tremendous power to this setup. I think this is now almost as powerful as a bow is. Also, I've redesigned the pouch. Show you the pouch. The problem with pouches and arrows is that it's very hard to grip the end of the arrow. Now you can add a golf tee or something like this to this, but then it throws the balance away. Because this is a well-balanced arrow, and if you add something heavy to the end, it's not going to fly straight anymore. So I wanted to keep the arrow the same way how it comes. But I needed to be able to grip it and center it. So if you look at the pouch, what I've done is, I've added rubber to four parts of the pouch. So there is another hole in it, and pouch attached to it, and rubber attached to it. And the goal is that you can take the arrow and center it in here and you see it's automatically centering in between the two rubbers. And the exact same thing happens if you grab it like this. So you've got a very firm hold on the arrow without changing it at all. This allows you to really use hard rubber. This thing shoots really well. And you're going to have a test shot with it in just a minute. So I guess it works. Could go a little heavier on the rubber really. Um, it's very functional and it's also very accurate. I'm just not much of, a, of an archer. I probably have to train this a little bit. Um, I will probably make a nicer one with a professional whisker biscuit um, and also use my stainless steel version. This works and I guess it's very good for hunters that want to go for bigger animals and then use broadheads um, at the tip of the arrow. That was it. Thanks. Bye-bye.